Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about pin pairs inside the Cadence PCB tools. So what are pin pairs? Well, pin pairs are the individual parts of the net. Um, so if I look at a, a specific net here as an example, let's just uh, hit tab to get the complete net. You can see this net's obviously got uh, several locations. It's, it's connected to all the different ICs along here. It's connected to the pins on the connector. It's connected to effectively the FPGA. So we've got kind of a driver and some receivers and and the, the pin pair would effectively be from, from point A, so the driver to, to the next IC and then the next IC and then the next IC. Um, and you can do these using uh, the net schedule command. So we could do edit net schedule. This will create pin pairs for us um, from a location point of view. We can also create these in Signal Explorer. Um, so if we go to Constraint Manager, we can make all the individual nets. So we can just do a right click here and, and send it to Signal Explorer. Or the other way, just manually, is to just pick a net that we're interested in and then we can do a right mouse button and uh, do a create pin pair. This allows us to then specify the individual pin pairs that we're interested in. So if we're interested in effectively U1, which is the driver, and that needs to go to say U40, we hit apply, okay, and you can see that underneath that, the PPR pin pair object gets created from U1 to U40. If I wanted to make one to U44, I could hit apply again, and that would then create the next pin pair object. And you can choose which specific objects you want to make by uh, selecting the objects in this pin pair list. You can choose all of them and all of them, and it will just make all of the pin pairs for you. Uh, and you can also do that in Signal Explorer. But this, this, this way you can kind of choose how to make the pin pairs that you want um, from a net point of view. And then once you have your pin pairs here, you can then be very specific about setting rules to them. So in uh, the propagation delay worksheet, for example, I could shift select all of these and do a right mouse button, create a match group give it a name and then those pin pairs then get associated to this match group so I could then go and set I want these to match within a certain length. I could also do that in the min match propagation delay worksheet so I could come here make pin pairs and set minimum and maximum value. So you have got lots and lots of control over the pin pair objects of your nets which should enable you to constrain your design and meet your design uh, intent.